Hello friends, you're with a lonesome gamer, and I'm playing Cthulhu Death May Die. And it's uh, Season th 1, Episode 3, Dans Macabre. And it's really looking not good. So Cthulhu has been... the, 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 the ritual was successful. Cthulhu is awake. He's sitting over here. We have a star spawn right there. The track is already going toward the end and we still did not manage to disrupt the ritual. It's ridiculous. Um, we found two of the four sorcerers, brought them back here. We know there's one here and I think if I didn't mix things up, one is here. But obviously both are kind of well guarded. Here we have the star spawn, here we have three enemies. So this is all quite tough. There's not a lot of time left and that's not it, right? I mean we don't have to do We have to kill Cthulhu three times after we disrupted the ritual. So I guess it's, it's pretty obvious that this is extremely unlikely that we can do it. But I'm gonna continue. Uh, maybe I'm lucky. But the way it worked until now, it doesn't seem so. So I'm going to start with Borden. Uh, she's located here with a cultist. My idea is to simply kill the star spawn, try to find that cultist and or that that uh, that sorcerer, and then we'll see. So I've got a free movement action for my swiftness. Damn. I'm always, this guy is always falling down. So, from my swiftness, I can, I can sneak. So, I, I simply move out of this room. And now I want to attack the star spawn. I'm going to do that from behind, sneaky with my axe. And. Uh, I can add two wounds because of my savage condition or my savage ability. So let's see what we got. I got my cobra, an ancient spirit, and one. So it seems like I got three standard dice, three green dice, and my three standard dice. So let's see. Okay, that was good. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's it. The star spawn is killed. We can attack two. Star spawn has seven life points. So we did that with a single, um, with a single attack. But you know what? I think I'm actually gonna reroll this, this one here, trying to fight a real. I mean, it's a bit tricky, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Trying to fight a normal success without that negative thing. I mean, this could go wrong, but I got a lot of rerolls, and there it is. And remember, my savage says, if you kill the target and there are no other enemies in the space, heal all stress. So I can just do it like that. Okay, that was pretty cool. And uh, it was good I could do that with one action. Now I got two actions left. So I'm going to try to What am I going to try to do? I'm going to flip these and to try to find the sorcerer. One, two. Okay, there he is. Um, so now I got one action left and this is the problem. I don't really know what to do. I don't want to send the sorcerer away because I know I want to do that with Mary. She's got the jewelry and she can send him directly to the waterfront. I think that helps. Um, I also don't want to move in here preparing to find these because there are three enemies and they will all attack me. 
So I guess I just stay there, which is not great, but I don't know what else to do. I think I want to heal. And that's all I do. It's It kind of sucks. It's a bit of a wasted turn, but okay, I mean, we were kind of successful anyway. Astral Promise. Move the nearest cultist to your space and choose one. Add a relay token to your space. If there is one already there, add it to the nearest space without one or lose two sanity. I'm going to go with the relay token. At that point, it doesn't really matter anymore. Um, so, one of these cultists will now move in here. I'm going to take that one, I guess. That's not so bad. And... That's actually might be even helpful. So he moves in here and yeah we're gonna take a relay token. We only have two left and as I said they'll be placed on the board pretty soon anyway because of Cthulhu's um, ability here at the end of each turn you have to place one. So I don't really think it matters at that point anymore and I want to save some sanity. So now I get attacked by the cultist. I got my serving tray, which allows me to do a reroll. Okay, that was good. And that's it. So that could have been worse, I guess. Mary. Oh, and we have to. <laughs> now it's the end of the turn, which means we gotta place that last token. And I think. I think I'm actually going to place that here. i got to place it adjacent to my... Oh no, it has to be adjacent to Cthulhu's space. But that doesn't matter. It's also... I mean, there is a connected line to down here. So I'm going to place one here. Okay, so we have now... On most spaces, sadly, these uh, Relier Rising tokens. And there's none left. Now it's Mary, and she moves now down here. She has also a stealth ability, so she leaves down here, or she moves down there, and she can also do that for free because of her swiftness. Then she sends that guy over here, so this is now the third one, and then I'm simply gonna shoot at these deep ones. I got my, my, I got two actions left now. So I got my, um, I got my marksman's ability and I got one. I could use my, yeah, why not? You know, I think I'm gonna use my handgun. That will send the ball goers away. I can send them down here or something. That doesn't really matter. I found what I needed to find. So these two get the pistol, which gives me another two. And I get another one from this sanity. So I have a ton and I would even get another one from the tiger. Okay, so I'm attacking one of these deep ones. No, come on, man. That was not a success. Are you kidding me? Well, I got one more of these to roll. Okay, I missed. Incredible. The guy is still alive. And that means... No, it, it says if it deals wounds, summon a deep one. Okay, so that means that guy takes two wounds. Ridiculous. And this is really a terrible, terrible, incredibly unlucky game for me. And now I will simply do another roll and attack the other guy, by the way. Okay, that means the other guy is killed. I get two sanity loss, so I move here. And this allows me now again to do this kleptomania action. So I could steal. You know, I'm going to take the serving 
Eh, I don't know if that is such a great idea though. But it kind of makes sense if I don't do it. I think I'm going to take the serving tray. Um, and that allows me to heal all my stress. I think this is not a bad idea. I'm really low here with my wounds. Okay. And you know, I messed up again. Ah, uh, fuck it. I forgot to upgrade her once. I definitely will take this. And you know, I think I'm going to push it even here. And I'm actually thinking about allowing myself to do roll these two more dice against that guy because I should have been allowed to do that. Okay, so that means I can also kill him. Okay, there we go. And yeah, this is it then. I'm now here. I did that. I guess we're done here. Yeah, I'm at the fourth threshold and it's one, two, three, four. So I kind of missed that there somehow. Okay, so we draw a Mythos card. Crawling Horror. Not good. The nearest hunting horror moves two spaces towards you. So that means this guy moves here into this room and will attack, attack. Then we got to summon another hunting horror up here. And we got to summon a new deep one over there. Okay. So that means we get attacked by the hunting horror and by the cultist. Uh, let's see, the, the hunting horror has, this is dangerous, well we'll see. The hunting horror has three dice. Okay, tough. I'm going to reroll. I can reroll definitely one because of the serving tray. Ah, fuck. I'm going to reroll again. I don't want to lose that much sanity. Oh, God. It seems I have to take it. Yeah. You know, these are the things, man. This is something that simply destroys your game. I have to I have to continue. I cannot survive that. If the guy kills me, it's over. But I cannot afford to take that much sanity loss. Okay, I have to go to the bitter end. Okay, so that means I take a wound. I can give that wound to the tiger. And I lose one sanity. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. And now we get attacked by the cultist. Okay, and we take another wound. So the tiger is dead. Oh, actually, that's not true. I can reroll that. Because of my serving tray, and I managed to save the tiger. That's pretty cool. So he's still at one wound. So now it's Borden again. Uh, no, it's not. Oh yes, it is actually. We did that. Yeah. Now it's Borden. She sneaks out of here from the hunting horror, takes this guy with her, and that means she now Oh boy. Mary will probably die pretty soon, but I don't know what else. I, I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. So it's Borden, and she will now 
start that was so that was not an action that was a free action so she starts now searching for this cult uh, this thing uh, this sorcerer if we're a little bit lucky we can disrupt the ritual this turn but you know yeah okay one Ah, oh, oh yeah, there it is, yeah. But sadly, that didn't work out. And that's the thing, right? I mean, we're just not lucky. We are simply not lucky. We had six options. There's a good chance you can do it with, with, two, with three, with two turns. But not, not if you're in this game. Everything just goes wrong. Okay, yeah, that's it. And we draw a Mythos card. Again, a hunting horror. Wow. Each hunting horror moves two spaces towards you, dealing one wound to any investigators in spaces they enter. Okay, so the guy moves here, take a wound, get attacked, and ah, lovely. Oh boy. You know, actually, Mary. She is allowed to heal all stress because she took a wound from the hunting horror last time. Did she? Yeah, she did. That's why the tiger has a wound. So yeah, she is actually a little more relaxed now. Okay, now it's Borden and oh, she gets attacked also by the hunting horror. Okay, that's not so bad. I'm gonna reroll this sanity loss. <sighs> Do I really wanna take two wounds? That's tough. <sighs> Maybe I should have taken the sanity loss. You know, I'm gonna reroll again. I don't know, man. This is. This is not good. Uh, I'll reroll again. Who cares? Okay, fuck it. I'm done with that. So I'm going to take two wounds. And now I'm going to get attacked by the cultist. And he also deals a wound. I'm going to reroll that. Okay, so we take another wound. Great. This is all going so fantastically great. So, Mary. Mary, what, what she does is... First she's gonna rest. Bring this up. She's, she has to. She's in a terrible shape. Then she's gonna attack the hunting horror. She's got, I don't know, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to roll all the dice I have. I think I got one more. Let's see where we end up. That is enough. I lose a sanity, but I'm going to re-roll that. Okay. So the hunting oro is killed. And... I have to heal Borden next turn. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Oh, okay, I spent two actions. No, I spent one action. That No, yeah, I did the rest action. They attack on the hunting horror. Got to move in here for free and then send the cultist over here. Okay, finally, we managed to disrupt the ritual. And now we can start attacking Cthulhu. So, let's draw a card. Cthulhu will advance. It says more to the party. Luckily now we can discard all these markers and there's nothing else going on there. We can ignore all this shit. What a painful, painful, painful 
scenario. Okay, let's remove all them. Ah, feels rewarding. So now we get attacked by the cultist. Okay, so that was a success, and I'm take that. Cthulhu advances to here, so time is absolutely running out. Um, let's see, we got to spawn cultist markers or cultists on every one of these Cthulhu, uh, of these Relia Rises tokens, but there are none. Um, we can't do it anymore. It's it's all the cultists are already spawned. Um, it's this one, right? Summon a cultist. Yeah, move the star spawn. Okay, so the star spawn comes into play at the blue gate. Okay, so the star spawn comes into play here, and obviously again there is not enough room. So we gotta just place the star spawn next to the space. And I know it's super crowded here. And this is something I, this is the only thing I really have to criticize about this game. You have this situation where you just have to place monsters next to the space and that happens a lot. Okay, maybe, you know, I can't help it, but again, there is a little bit of hope Maybe there's a chance we can actually do it. We got three turns to kill Cthulhu three times. Is it possible? I guess it is. So let's go for it. Borden. And now we're making no... I mean, we just have to go all in, right? There is nothing... There's no way we can try to... Um, Borden will probably die this turn. I mean, w there is nothing we can do anymore to, 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 to save time and to play conservatively or something. So Borden runs, she takes her axe, right? Full force and she runs, she completely goes berserk and runs toward Cthulhu now where when she realizes he's vulnerable. So she moves one, two, three, four spaces. She takes these two cultists with him and <sighs> yeah and we'll see. So she's now with three cultists in a space. That means she can now attack Cthulhu and she has one die, two dice. Um, Cthulhu, I'm not sure if he's actually a monster. Yeah, so it's actually correct. Cthulhu is not a monster. Elder Ones and Cultists are not monsters. So that means I get the Ancient Spirit. I get a die from here. And that's pretty much it. I get these five dice. But I got three attacks because the movement was free. And I can add two successes no, I can only do that if I'm alone with Cthulhu. That makes it much harder. But I gotta try anyway. There's nothing I can do. I have to try it. So, yeah, let's do it. We got these five dice. Uh, I mean, five dice, three attacks for 12 successes. I guess there's a chance I can do it. Let's hope for it. That wasn't great. Two successes, pretty bad start. I lose two sanity. Okay. Um, hmm. That gives me an extra die, which is nice, but I don't really see a lot of options.
how I could improve my investigator in a way that it makes sense because I'm pretty sure she will die this turn. She's gonna get attacked by three cultists and Cthulhu. There's no way that I can survive that and I don't even want to because she is much stronger. So I have only probably two turns left or something and I want to use them with her. So I guess, I don't know, I might just do, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to push up the stealth, but at that point it's, it doesn't matter anymore, I guess. So then she has two more actions. Okay, two more damage and sadly this is all not working out very well. And with her last attack... One more damage. Yeah, that was that was really poor, but okay, um, no big surprise, right? So she takes another sanity loss, and now she gets attacked by all these guys. So first, why Cthulhu watches the cultists will take her down and torture her. So let's see, we got. Three attacks from the cultists. But wait a minute, first we got a raw mythos card, of course. A hunting horror, each hunting horror moves two spaces towards you, dealing one wound to any investigator in spaces they enter. And we got to summon another hunting horror. So that means this guy also moves in this space. A new hunting horror shows up here. And yeah, now she gets, and it's getting really, we, we start with a hunting horror, right? Okay, so she loses two sanity. That means, um, well, I don't know, she can do something like, I don't know, uh, let's, let's push this up. And now the, the cultists, that is one wound she takes. So that means I think I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose the Cobra. She got killed, the second cultist, okay, yeah, two more wounds, so that means the ancient spirit goes away and she's dead. Well, that's it for her, but we still have Mary with the two guns and she is just in the right mood to take all these fuckers down. Okay, so Mary sneaks out of this room with, with, without him, and she goes here. And remember, she got the ability to shoot two spaces. So she can actually shoot from here. So she moves, that was for free, and she got a ton of dice. And it's a shame, right? I think, honestly, I think if Borden would have killed Cthulhu, I could have even still done it. Because two attacks, I think, I think if she had two turns, she could have done it. But maybe we we're lucky. Maybe we're drawing a card that doesn't show that symbol. Maybe there's a chance that we can still kill him. So let's see. Three dice. That's the basic dice. Two dice from the sanity track. Two dice from the marksmanship. And another four dice for the pistol and the handgun. So that means I got three. <laughs> I mean, I got, I got, that's insane. That's eight, I got 11 dice to operate with. And it's going to be even more at some point. I never had that many dice, I think. Let me just recount that. Two. And the tiger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And these three. So I got 12 dice. Ah, it's insane. So I'm definitely able to kill Cthulhu. The question is, do I have the time left? But I can, I think, one round and I can kill him each round. Now we see. 
Okay, that was good. One, two, three, four, five. It's not enough. He still is alive. I want to reroll my sanity here because this is an issue. Sanity is a problem. Okay, fine. So that means one, two, three, four, five successes. So how much damage does he have? I need two more. I need to deal two more wounds. Okay. And that was no problem at all. I lose a sen... Yeah, fuck it. I'm going to lose a sanity here. Okay. So that means I killed him. And if I'm not mistaken, let me, let me think about that. I did two attacks and three movement, so I got one movement action left, actually. Now what happens? Okay. It says, when revealed, move Cthulhu to the blue gate. Each investigator in a relay space takes one wound and loses one sanity. And at the end of each turn, an investigator also loses one sanity. <sighs> yeah, I can't win anymore. It's Except that I can kill him twice next turn, which <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. Maybe there is a small chance I can do that even. So that means these guys... I don't even know if this guy, I think he's also on the board. Yeah, I think these are all in this space, these guys, and these, oh, Borden is dead, and these two are located here. I still get a free movement action, so that allows me to move here. I gotta risk it. Um, I gotta, yeah, there's nothing I can do. I gotta risk that. It's not my free movement action, it's just an action. So I can go here so that I can shoot at him next turn. Yeah, it's not going to work out. Now I lose one sanity because I was on a relay really space. I take a wound, which allows me to heal all my stress. And now it's the and now I can. Oh, look at that. I can push this, and that gives me another free attack. Whoa, that's interesting. And because it's the end of the turn, I gotta push that here. So that means I have to kill Cthulhu next turn, except if I draw a card now that forces me to lose sanity, then it's over immediately. Yeah, that's it. I'm done. Sadly, the game is over. Relier unleashed. Each investigator in a Relier space loses one sanity. I am in a Relier space. I went insane. That's a shame. I would have loved to see that last turn, if it would be possible or not. Um, I have now... A lot of dice. If I kill Cthulhu, that means I will lose a lot of items. So I'm not that powerful at the very end. But I could choose to keep some of these items by taking wounds. So I could have kept the handgun and the pistol, I guess. Um, at least one of them. And that's interesting. And then at least one of them. And then I think I had a real chance to kill him twice. I had three attacks. I don't know. It's hard to tell, right? But it's a shame that it's over now. But okay, well, sometimes such is life. It was a mistake. When I was here, I could have actually re-rolled instead of taking the sanity loss, and that was a big mistake. I should have, I had a few, 
Um, I think I had a few left here, a few stress. I could have rewrote that, prevent the sanity loss. Well, okay. So I guess I played a bit sloppy. That's the reason why I lost here. But I also was, and I think I can really say that, I was extremely unlucky. You know, I mean, now at the, at the end, it came down to a very, it was super, super, super close. You know, it was just basically one or two actions, if you think about it, right? I mean, okay, I had that, I had that thing here, which, which, but it's a typical thing, right? It, it's so typical that now it ends with, with a card that says just, okay, just lose the sanity and you're fucked. You know, it's this kind of ending where it's just, yeah, eh, there's nothing you can do. And that just mirrors for me the game actually quite a bit. But I think I made one absolutely critical mistake and it happened already in the more early stages of the game and I reviewed the first episode. I just, you know, checked it out at my first video of this series. And there was a situation, the first sorcerer from the lower level was also back there, already back there. And I did found, I knew there was the ballroom here with kind of like, I don't know, eight dancers or so. And five were on that side and I already knew, I interrogated them, and three were on this side here. And I knew the sorcerer had to be in there. And what happened is that a, a card forced me to bring a deep one here and kill a dancer. And the thing is, I chose automatically to take one of these that I have not yet interrogated and it ended up to be a sorcerer. So I had that situation where I had that mixed tokens, right? A sorcerer and the dancers. But that card that I drew that forced me to kill a dancer was the third card that advanced Cthulhu. And I should have known that. You know, there were three cards sitting here and I know Cthulhu advanced and I knew it would have forced me to shuffle it all back. So I simply could have completely avoided that whole situation by killing one of the other dancers because I knew there was no, um, there was no, uh, yeah, there was no sorcerer there. And then it would have been easy for me to find this guy, send him there, and then already the two down here would have been gone in a fairly early stage of the game. And I think that was actually the mistake of the game. It's that easy, right? It, this was the main mistake. And I'm pretty sure I could have won the game if I did not have made this mistake. Because in the end, it took me now to the very end, unto this video, until I find that last dancer. And that was a huge blunder. Okay, anyway, I think... This is a super cool scenario. This is one of my favorite scenarios. It can really go wrong, but there's a lot of tension in this thing and also a lot of theme. Yeah, didn't turn out so well. Ah, that's a shame, but okay. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, hope to see you on the next video. Bye.